Well, we know this time is really stressful for everyone. A lot of people are working, they're wondering how to pay their bills, and that includes student loans. But on that part of it, there is also help on the way. Three on your side, Susan Campbell working from home this morning with more on this. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Tess. We're talking about a freeze on student loans, federal student loans. For people who have federal student loans, you can kind of put that loan on pause for two months. Interest on those loans is also dropping to 0% for the same time period for those 60 days. The goal is to provide temporary relief to tens of millions of borrowers during the coronavirus emergency. President Trump and U.S. Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos made the announcement late last week. We spoke with a local legal expert to help break down the new policy. He says there are several things to consider. If you make your payments like usual, you'll get extra credit, as it were, and you'll pay less at the end. If you can't pay or you choose not to pay, it's totally up to you. You just need to con contact your loan servicer. But also something to keep in mind, this will delay the amount of time until you could start getting loan forgiveness. And so for people with less than 10 years, the amount of time you need to pay until you could get loan forgiveness, this is going to push you back two months, too, if you don't make those payments. The 60-day time period is retroactive beginning on March 13th. Again, suspending payments is not automatic. You have to reach out to your loan servicer. You have to ask them uh, to make sure that you know that you are all on the same page. You have to call them and just give them the heads up that you are planning to take advantage of that 60-day window uh, where you can put those payments on hold. Tess. All right. Good to know. And this is certainly going to help a lot of people out. Thank you, Susan.